Our top story this morning is President Obama's struggle to rescue his signature piece of legislation, the Affordable Care Act. The president has been consulting with top insurance company ex executives to try and smooth over his latest legislative fix. But the program is such a mess that Mr. Obama is even having trouble winning support from some in his own party. Jeff Pegues is at the White House with more on that story. Good morning, Jeff. Good morning, Vanita. The White House is scrambling, trying to get ahead of the almost daily negative headlines about the rollout of the Affordable Care Act. The president on Friday summoning 15 health insurance executives here to the White House, trying to explain to them why he decided to reverse course over millions of canceled insurance policies. What we're going to be doing is brainstorming on how do we make sure that everybody understands what their options are. The meeting at the White House happened a day after the president announced his plan to allow insurance companies to renew and extend for at least a year canceled policies that did not meet the minimum requirements of the Affordable Care Act. It was damage control after acknowledging that he'd made a promise he couldn't keep. We fumbled the rollout on this health care law. But the change has angered insurance companies who will have about 30 days to contact millions of consumers whose policies have been canceled, give them new options and recalculate all their insurance premiums. The bill is passed. And in the House of Representatives, Democrats are defecting. Nearly one-fifth joined with Republicans to vote in favor of a GOP-sponsored bill which extends those canceled insurance plans and goes a step further by allowing new people to sign up for them. Republican Congressman Fred Upton. For millions of Americans, it's cancellation today, sticker shock tomorrow. The White House is promising to veto the bill if it ever reaches the president's desk. Press Secretary Jay Carney says the bill undercuts the Affordable Care Act. While maybe fixing the problem potentially of those who receive cancellation letters, it also, by allowing insurers to sell new policies to new customers that don't meet the standards, is uh, deliberately or not designed to undermine the Affordable Care Act in the long run. Democrats are concerned about lasting political fallout and are looking ahead to next year's midterm elections. Of the 39 Democrats who voted on Friday with Republicans, 31 are expected to be in competitive or in potentially competitive races. Vanita, Anthony. Jeff Pagase at the White House. Thanks, Jeff.